Let's have a look at a few more examples of exponential equations. OK, if we're asked to solve something like this, well, we know the basic story we saw last time was that if we get 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the something, then it's very easy. What value of x will make it true? We just know that x must be that something. So we know that in exponential equations, what we're aiming to do is to try and turn this into 2 to the something. Well, well let me have a pen. It's 2 to the x minus 5. And what is 1 over 8? Well, it's 1 over 2 cubed. That still isn't exactly in this format. 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the something. What I want is to have a plain old 2 on this side. But I know that 1 over 2 cubed is 2 to the negative 3. And of course, then it's very simple. Then x minus 5 must be equal to negative 3. So x will be equal to negative 3 plus 5. And that is 2. Remember, you can always check that you've got your solution correct to an equation by going and substituting this back in to the original. So let's just do that on the side here to check we've got it right. So if we put in 2, we're going to get x is 2. 2 to the 2 minus 5 is 2 to the negative 3. And 2 to the negative 3 is 1 over 2 cubed, which is 1 over 8. And that is what we had on the right-hand side. So we know that we've got our answer correct. OK, what if we were asked to solve something like this? 2 times 3 to the 5x is equal to 54. Well, again, we know the story, right? If we want to be able to solve, we need to have 3 to the, well, x, 5x, whatever, but let's do it, 5x for now, is equal to 3 to the something or other, right? That's the format we need it in. So the things that are in our way right now is the fact that we've got this 2 here on this side. We don't want that there. And we also don't want this to be a number. We want it to be 3 to the power of something. Well, let's first get rid of the 2 so we can get this left-hand side into its correct format. So to get rid of the 2, we divide left-hand side by 2. So we've got to divide the right-hand side by 2. And 54 divided by 2 gives me 27. OK, and now it's very simple because now all we want to do is make sure that this is written as 3 to the power of something. And you should immediately recognize that 27 is just 3 cubed. And now we're in the position that we like, right? 3 to the 5x is equal to 3 to the something. And so we can immediately say, well, what is going to make this and this the same? It's only going to be the same when 5x is the same as 3. So when 5x is equal to 3. And so when x is equal to 3 over 5.